Hi everyone, welcome to a Jira how-to video series where we are having a look on the most commonly asked questions about Jira. I'm Nikki from Jexa and today we will have a look at how you can create a Jira ticket. Now I can imagine that you can ask this question in two ways. The first one is that you maybe come to your IT support or HR and they tell you instead of asking them directly, you should create a Jira ticket. In this case, there is probably some kind of a service desk portal or portal existing in your company where you can come in and you can raise a request and they sometimes call it a Jira ticket. So what you can ask them is, what's the address of this portal where you can raise this ticket? So for example, I have this simple uh, service desk, Jira service desk portal here where you can easily navigate to one of the spaces. So I have, for example, this IT space here and here you can choose what kind of request you have. So for example, I have a problem with uh, logins and my accounts and I want to fix my account problem. So you just come here, you describe what's going on, can't log in to my Gmail, for example, you can give them a little bit more details. They might have a different kind of fields here set up. So for example, priority of your request or what department you are from and so on. So you just fill everything in this view. Whatever has this little red star is a mandatory field. So you need to provide that information. And the ones that don't have the red star, you can just leave out if you don't have what to say. And then if you click on send, you will basically submit uh, your request and it will create a Jira ticket in uh, your company service desk. Now, what's happening is uh, once you hit the send button, the team that you submitted the request uh, to got a Jira ticket created and they can see your request in Jira and they will be able to you know, take an action, uh, go through the work workflow that they set up and they are also able to uh, reply to you via the service desk. So then you would be basically getting uh, comments from the team and you would be able to see them here in this view and you can also react so you can solve the problem. Uh, the reason why usually companies ask you or departments ask you to create a Jira ticket for your requests is it just speeds up their process, it goes through the official process and it helps manage workload for the team as well. Because sometimes if you get, for example, a lot of notifications on the Slack and uh, the team is just picking up the work as they go, it might happen that they're easily overwhelmed, but they might also miss your request or they might miss really important requests. So it's really important for them to have this workflow in place. Another option that might happen to you is you, for example, want to uh, raise some idea or you found some bug in the, in the system and you would like to tell the team and the, they just tell you to raise a Jira ticket for that. In that case, you probably have a Jira in your company already and teams are using it to deliver the work and they're asking you to basically log that uh, ticket into their backlog. So the way you do it is you just find the right project. So for example, if I have some bug that I found for our Riders app, uh, I just come to the Riders app project. And then here you can either see the Kanban board or you can see the backlog if you have access to it. And on the backlog, you can just click on create issue, which basically means that you would be creating a Jira ticket. And here you can raise the ticket that you would like. So for example, I found a bug. Um, and then when you hit enter, it basically creates a Jira ticket. You can open it. You can add additional, you can add additional information, description. You can also write the comments and so on and fill the additional fields. Another way to create a Jira ticket is just to click on this blue create button. And here what you can see is a project field. So you're basically selecting what project you would like to create a ticket in. Uh, then what should be the issue types, or is it a bug, task, story, or maybe you have some custom issue types like ideas, um, improvements, uh, changes, and so on. So you can definitely raise that uh, and select it here. And uh, then you just add the summary and uh, you fill out additional information if you would like. Again, whatever has a star next to it is a mandatory field, so you should definitely fill that out, otherwise Jira would prompt you uh, that you cannot create the ticket unless you uh, fill all the mandatory fields. And then you just click on the create, you get this notification here on the bottom, 
and you can click to open and view the issue and uh, add additional information, for example. So that's just another way how you could create a Jira ticket. Okay, so that's about it for our video uh, about how you can create a Jira ticket. I hope that you found it useful. If you did like the video, you can hit like and subscribe to our channels for the next videos like this.